the place where two or more bones are joined together is called a joint we can bend our body around the joints for example we can bend our knees or our elbow or twist our wrist and rotate our neck etc there are two kinds of joints the fixed joint and the movable joint fixed joints in our body as the name suggests are fixed and so they cannot move the skull is a immovable or a fixed joint the movable joints in our body are the joints which can move and also help us to move but not all movable joints can move in all directions now let us see the various kinds of movable joints let us see the ball and socket joint it allows the maximum movement the round end of one bone fits into hollow part of another bone hence the name ball and socket joint hip joint and shoulder joints are some of the ball and socket joints in a body you must have seen how the bowler in the cricket bowls he swings his hand freely around his shoulder and then he finally throws the ball the hinge joint works like a door on the hinge it enables movement only in one direction knees elbows fingers toes on a body have hinge joints pivot joint one bone has a projection which fits into the ring like ligament of another it allows movement in many ways the head can be moved from side to side up to down backward to front and sideways too the skull moves on the top of the first vertebrae gliding joint adjacent bones slide over each other and allow for a limited movement it allows our back to bend twist and turn at each joint like the vertebrae of the backbone wrist and ankles of our body what happens if your backbone is made up of just one long bone it would make us stiff as a scarecrow isn't it children <laughs> so children let us sum up the various kinds of joint the joints are of two types fixed and movable joints the movable joints can be further categorized in four groups ball and socket joint hinge joint pivot joint gliding joint have you ever thought how bones are joined together there must be some glue used isn't it otherwise how would these bones be joined to form the skeleton it is actually tissues that join one bone to another these are called as ligaments so ligaments hold the joints together